Well, uh, we could play a guessing game um, because the figures you can see in front of you are in silhouette. So if we have my first special guest of the afternoon say something, maybe about where we're going next Friday, um, that maybe give, will give the game away to who's joined us here at the uh, Castanera de Pera Cerveja na Aldea Beer Fest, mini beer festival. Actually, tell me first, special guest, number one. Who is that? Hola, <laughs> Um, What do you think of the beer you're drinking? Yeah, well, it is good. That's why it's almost empty. The glass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you recognize who this is in the silhouette against the beautiful central Portugal scenery, really? I mean, we are here in Castanheira de Pera. Or, or we're in the village of Pera, outside. Pera, Pera, yeah. Pera, yeah. okay. Tell us more about that special guest. Do you know this place? Have you been here before? Uh, no, I have taught in, in, in school in Castanheira de Pera. You? Right, okay. But it was 30 years ago. <laughs> right. So some of the students might have moved on. <laughs> If they are here, they are now about uh, 45 or something. <laughs> Has anyone come up to you yet and said, <laughs> Professor? Sometimes it happens. Yeah, I'm sure it, it happens. Sometimes I'm it sure happens, it happens. Yeah. And it happens in our community as well, doesn't it? Somebody's getting a bit um, excited here. We've got, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so the beer's okay, and that's why it's nearly empty. Yep. Are you glad you came? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. Now, it, it looks like we drink all the time, Philomena. <laughs> I've given the game away because we're going to be in, we're going to be. In Peral, HQ, yes. aren't we, next Friday? Yeah. Um, the, the tour, the trip has come together. Your Schist Village trip. Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> what's going to What's going to be happening next Friday? Well, uh, we are going to start um, in the morning. We're going to visit uh, the Schist Village of Gondramar. Oh, very in nice. Miranda do Corvo. And, um, and then after that, yeah. let's go to Peral. <laughs> And then have a little sleep on the coach on the way home. <laughs> How lovely. Yeah, but uh, we we are very, very lucky to have the owner of the factory as our guide. Seriously? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, at least this is the plan. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's going to guide us. And we are going to visit, which is a one-off. They don't do visits. So don't think of coming to Licobino on your own to have a visit. No, you won't get it. Really? Just, just with Philomena. There you go. There you go. Um, no, this it's is, true. They I am so I, looking forward to this. Really excited about the trip. We're fully booked now. And we've got a waiting list, haven't we? We have a waiting list, yes, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Good, good. Because uh, it's not been the easiest trip to organise, has it? No, it has, uh, well, a few things. It, the bus and the, even Le Corbeau, they were not uh, sure if they would work on the 6th because of the holiday on the 5th. Okay, uh, well, that's a good heads up for everybody here in Portugal. And then, there's, there's and then the... I am to blame because the poor guy, the the responsible, uh, he said, I had to postpone my holidays because of really? you. Really? <laughs> Is he going to be grumpy when we get there? <laughs> no. Okay, good, good. Then we can't have that. No, but... Um, we have Owen, who recognised you immediately. But no, not here. Oh, he's okay. on. He's watching. He's watching oh, at okay, home. Okay, okay. And he's saying because uh, I have a friend, Owen. Owen is here as well. She's is fat. she? Oh, I, I want to see is. her. She she had the cafe in Espanol. Yes, she? that's yes, right. I've eaten her food at a wedding. She is here somewhere. She's a skilled chef. She is a very skilled cook, isn't she? Yeah, and chef. And Dave, uh, Alan, and Dave. I don't oh, know. Oh, okay, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Oh, okay, it'll be nice to see they them. They have as well. just passed, but right. I don't know where they are. Well, Owen knows this part of the country. We're not far from Serta either, are we? We're, all, we're no, just off the no, road to Castelo no. Branco and Serta. Yes, and we are not far from Pompeosa de Serra, for example. And Panela. Miranda de Corvo, yeah, not so far away. one hour away, away one hour is it, away. Is that far away? One hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And how long did it take you to get over from Miranda? Well, it took us a little bit longer because I took uh, two British friends with me that live in Miranda. Right. Were they but late? Because, be no, they were not late. No. British people are not late, no, are they? They're normally no, early. They're, no, they are never late. Right. But because uh, I have asked them if they knew beautiful spots on the way that they had that never... That happened to me. That happened to me. They have never been. So where, they, where did you take them on the way? I have taken them to São João do Deserto. São okay. João do Deserto. Well, Annie's here. If you want, she can speak about it. If she wants to, yeah, Annie? sure. Uh, well, 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 let's talk to you first because I want to. Yeah. Well, can we talk to you in about ten minutes, Annie? Is that right? Prepare yourself to speak about São João do Deserto, where we were. Okay? About ten minutes. In ten minutes, in ten minutes, you are going to speak about the place where we stopped. Okay. Is that all right? Place where we stopped. Yeah, yeah, because you didn't know it until today. Philomena's putting you on the spot. You'll be fine. 
She's warming the chair up. She's warming the chair up. So you stopped off there. Yes, we stopped Actually, there. Anne, Anne, you could tell your relatives back in the UK that you're going to be on the internet in a minute, yes. talking on the Good Morning Portugal uh, live stream. Good Morning stream. Portugal. You can tell your family in the UK. Just go to Good Morning Portugal. On YouTube. On YouTube, and they can see you live. And they can send you messages, minutes. and yeah. you can... You send them, them greetings. You can just tell them how warm it is here yeah. today on the last day of September. Hey, one, everybody, are going to be online in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. It's the you folks back home. Family. If you tell the folks back home, you're going to be on YouTube in about 10 minutes. Oh. YouTube. All right. Good morning, Portugal. And then Portugal. you can, you can boast, and then boast about the they weather. And can see the video, okay? okay. Excellent. Yeah. So you had one, how many stops on the way over? Uh, one, one okay. at São João do Deserto, but yeah. uh, we, you know, because we had to drive a little bit off the road where we were, yeah. um, it took us a, a while, but it's worthwhile. It's, uh, well, they are going to speak about it. It's, I mean, things here might only be 10 kilometers away, mm -hmm. but it could take you half an hour to get there, couldn't it? Because you've got to go up and down the mountain. Well, yeah, we are in the middle of the mountain, so, yeah. I mean, everything this, is going up and down and up and this down. This is such a beautiful part of Portugal. I don't think people know it as well as they could or might, and uh, mm -hmm. part of being here today is to bring some attention to Castanha yeah. de Pera. Would you say this is a typical central Portugal town? It's a bit unusual because it's got that funny... Um, no, I don't mean funny in a bad way, but it's got that um, lagoon um, swimming. What was yes, it? yes, that is the swimming pool. Yes, with waves. With waves. With waves. Right, because yeah. they. I mean, the river beaches of Portugal are amazing. Yeah. But they've gone a step further with that one, haven't they? Yes, they have. It's they have decided machine. to have something different. Yes. Uh, to distinguish from all the other river beaches, right? Yes. So, yeah. um, and people love it because, of course. From here to the sea, they take a while, right? The windy roads and, and things like that. That's right. So well, that's where uh, we came from this morning. We came from the Silver Coast. Yes, that's right. Morning. So yeah. uh, to, to see the sea, it's a bit a bit hard. Yeah. So if they can't have the waves from the sea, at least they can have the waves here. Um, you know, they... they that's such a good idea. They have a kind of a... Um, um, oh my God, I've just been brought a beer. <laughs> <laughs> this place is brilliant. <laughs> yes, every place in central Portugal is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's really kind. Thank you to Gary Orgles, who some, some of you may know Gary, who's moved to Castaneda de Pera. Yeah. I stopped off in Alvazra uh, ah, to, yeah. see, to see Gary and Linda, mm -hmm. and he drove me up to the top of the Serra de Alvazra. Yeah. Have you have you been up to there? Yes, uh, although I don't know the area very well. Alveazo is an area that I don't know very well, but I've been there and I've been Did you drive uh, up to the top? I don't think the so. The Serra is amazing yeah. up there. We had this incredible view up there. Yeah. So he took us up there and I'll put that on our, on I've, our YouTube I've worked channel. in the school. Uh, yeah. um, I haven't taught, but I have been working in the school for some Cambridge exams and oh, things really? like that. Yeah. And just a correction, it's called Alveazra. 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 Alveazra, not Alviagra, as no. some people call you it. You started it. I don't know, and I think it's really childish. Whoever started that is really childish, and they, I think they should stop now. Um, so we've got Owen, who says, so wish I was there, and a Facebook user here looks fab. Uh, wish I was there. Uh, who are you, Facebook user? Do let us know. We've got a few other people watching as well, um, so perhaps you could tell us uh, who you are and where you are in the world. So next Friday, then. 6th of October. We're yeah, all, we're it's on going our way to be a Philomena Friday. It's a Philomena. It is, isn't it? <laughs> no, Extra it's not. Work. It's not. It's but, the first Friday of the month. It's the first. Okay. But it's going to be a special. Would you Philomena. would you normally be on on the, on the first Friday? No, it's the second. Usually okay. the second. All right, because I'm going to be out of the studio, and Mrs yes. M's going to be doing it, and yeah. I will be. Well, I'll, we can do a little bit of yes, we can do a little bu bit yeah. on the bus, <laughs> can't we? On the way there, the bus is picking us up in Caldas de Reina, and then stopping. On the way, of course, stopping, but uh, the first stop where they are going to meet me is Miranda. <laughs> We've had, it tells you that our audience are of a certain age, because one of the, <laughs> one of the first questions was, will we be stopping? Yeah, on the, on <laughs> several the, times. For, what was it for a technical stop? <laughs> <laughs> because Don't it's a long so much way. Beer. Yeah, 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 so we will have... Uh, Convenience. Yes. Comfort yes. stops, yes. comfort breaks, they're called, aren't they? So I'm really looking forward to that. Not a long one. Not a long <laughs> one because no. we have lots of things and to I'll see. And I'll be, I won't be driving the bus, but I'll be, <laughs> I'll be driving the passengers yes. back onto the bus. That's right. If I have to come into the toilets to hurry you up, I will, okay? For everybody who's going to be there on Friday. Don't go in into the ladies, okay? <laughs> I have done that. I have done that for a minute in IKEA. Mm. This is a confusing thing that we might talk about with Portuguese culture. Yeah. Sometimes on a public toilet, it will have 
the letter S uh -huh. and the letter... Um, and then sometimes M, right? And sometimes H, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. And if you don't know Portuguese, you are in trouble. Exactly, because I did go into the... The M. Oh, we've got uh, Mrs. M joining us. Do you want to be on the screen for a minute? Let's, uh, let's bring her on for a Hello. minute. Hi, how are you? It's I'm well. It's, it's rocking here. It's fantastic. It looks fantastic. Oh, Hello. You can hear her. Hello. Good, good, yeah, good. I can hear her. Oh, wow. Well, 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 she is. Uh, how is the Silver Coast? It's, it's hot here, Mrs. We are just about to go for a walk to the beach and to the pit stop and for a bit of a party. Oh, I've just done a two hour um, stream. But, um, have you? Yeah. Is that available for people? Is that the uh, October astrological forecast? It sure is. Sign by sign, baby. <laughs> I'm Excellent. exhausted now. Okay, so, and um, Tina, you've been with me, us. and now they're with you. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, Jack Polly as well. Looks fab. Wish I was there. You'd love it here. You really would. Uh, Frank's with me. He'll be talking to us in just a moment. Nubianet as well. Smash that like button, says uh, T Duck as well. Thank you for that, mate. <laughs> Uh, and I think there are dark ales here. I've been on. I've, I'm going. I'm probably going dark quite soon. We started with that really nice IPA, didn't we? Which was like citrusy and light and crispy. Now I'm into this one, and it's going to get darker in probably many ways because I'm sharing a twin room with Frank later on as well. Um, <laughs> uh, hi to you as well in California this afternoon. This is fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate that. Um, let's have a lovely time at the beach, Mrs. M. Oh, we okay, I've got to go, but I just wanted well, to say Philomena hello. was just saying it's going to be a Philomena Friday. I'll be calling <laughs> you from the bus, and you'll be taking care of business in the studio on Friday. I will, you? yeah, yeah, okay. totally. All right, be fair. Okay, all bye right, bye. see you later. Bye. 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 There she goes. Right, back to Castaneda de Pera now. Have you got any other trips coming up, Philomena? Uh, possibly Golgan in uh, November. Okay, possibly. Why possibly? Possibly because I've just uh, asked for quotes for the buses and everything. Is and it getting more expensive oh, to hire the buses? Very now? expensive. Really? It's terribly expensive. Really? Yeah. You have to put your prices up. I think people will I understand. I mean, diesel right is now. expensive. Everything yeah. is expensive, and uh, yeah. and um, it's it's natural that uh, they they charge more. For example, a bus that you, uh, for example, uh, a bus that used to be seven hundred euros, now it's about one thousand, one thousand and a hundred. Really? Yeah, it's almost double. Yeah. That's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it uh, is. Yeah, wow, okay. Um, I don't know what the solution is. If you're going to Gold Gown, maybe we could go by horse. <laughs> maybe. <No? laughs> that would be a good idea. That is the equestrian capital, isn't it, of Portugal? Yes, it's the capital of the horse, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. And so... They're having the Gold Gown uh, Festival yeah. uh, between the 3rd and the 12th of uh, November. Okay. So is an option possibly to meet there? Is that yes. is that one option yeah, for doing um, these in the yes, future? Yes, last year, um, I think it was last year, uh, I had a couple of years that I organized the, the bus trip. But I think, uh, if I recall, last year, I think we met there. Uh, a few people met there. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe that's the way forward. But yeah. I guess it's nice to be on the bus, isn't it, and have a bit of a sing-song. Do you, do you teach um, songs on the bus for people to sing? <laughs> and I don't mean wheels on the bus. I mean, like... <laughs> Proper no, songs. but um, when we go on the bus, for example, I had a, a couple of years ago, uh, we went to visit the castle of Almurol, which is a beautiful castle. Frank's asking, yes, Bifana, uh, Si. Good service. And, um, and so, uh, yes, I, I, um, I organized a visit to the castle first in the morning. Ah, that's and why you need the bus. Yes, to I move mean, around it, the different it would parts. be easier to get everybody together, right? Uh, okay, yeah. And uh, so we went to visit the castle. We we went by boat to the castle. Did you? Yeah. In Goga? Near Goga. Okay, near. right. Uh, so there is the river Tejo, right? The, the, oh, is that the, the the castle that is only accessible from? It's in the middle of well, the river. Well, unfortunately, now it is it is uh, also accessible on foot because unfortunately we haven't had rain. And now uh, the river is the level is very low. Is that Almorol? Almorol. Yeah, yes. that's an um, amazing place. They've got, it a, good, is an they've got a good castle. gin there as well, haven't they? Yes. Charisse, yes, is it? Yes, yes. But uh, but uh, we had an, a very nice trip on the boat to the castle, uh -huh. and um, and then we went to Gauguin. 
Uh, we had uh, we had uh, lunch and then we spent the afternoon there with the, several the, events. Well, so. the pictures were amazing. And we also did because with me you don't do just one thing, you know. No, I realize this. On a this. trip with me, you do one thousand different you things. You do, and then everyone's and thinking we're really hungry. We're never <laughs> going to get into a restaurant here. All the restaurants are full, and then Philomena walks you to the front of a queue in a restaurant, and everyone gets fed, don't they? <laughs> yes, yes. And that's we're we're going to be having the most amazing and, meal, I think, this coming oh, Friday. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Really, yeah. really good. All and right. um, it's one of the, for me, it's the best restaurant in Portugal. But really, it's, yeah, it's it's. You it's would go far as to say that, that it's the oh, best yes. restaurant in yes. Portugal. Uh, for example, you will see on the walls, mm -hmm. you will see pictures of people who have been there, like our prime minister, the form one of the former prime ministers, footballers, singers, the president. Uh, actually, the president. I'm not sure. I'm but glad. Maybe, Do maybe. you know why? <laughs> because if he shakes the hand of the chef. I think the chef might not be able to cook for us. Yeah, so, he will go off. Exactly. We need to keep him away from the until after we've been there. Right. Yeah, but uh, prime ministers, yes, uh, a few prime ministers have been there, and um, and uh, my my favorite band, Shoots de Pontepeche. Oh, really? That, yeah. Are they they're the, big favourites there? Are they? Well, yes, that's a favourite of theirs. Because um, everybody wants to go to that restaurant. Everybody, and it's hard to book. But it's you've done it. Book. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of fantastic. Course. Okay, trips for Brits. I know the owners. <laughs> well, the, the, I, I want you to, to keep doing your trips, and, yeah. and we want to be involved in more to. of them. Yeah. So we'll, we'll figure out the transport thing, won't we, and with the rising costs of, of uh, fuel and so on, yeah. and we'll find a solution for yes, that. Yes, and but. as I was saying about Gulgan, there is also a very nice place to visit. It. We visited it. Uh, the Estudio Carlos Relves, uh, the photographer. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, um, T Duck is watching now. Put together some fantastic information yes, it's about a that. Very, a very good place to go. Well, he and was the first photographer, yes, the was. first portraitist yeah, in, yeah. in photography in Portugal, yes, right? Yeah. And he used to photograph, you know, the, the royal family and everything. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just putting trips for Brits into the chat. Okay. Uh, trips for Brits at gmail.com is how to be on your mailing list, basically, right? If people, mm -hmm. if people drop you a line and say, Yes, get, or, you know, let me know. or for Portuguese lessons as well. Ah. Translation. How's that going? <laughs> oh, it's going very well, yes. Okay. Yeah. And people can do uh, Portuguese lessons with you online. Over, online, online okay. yes. I teach, I teach, for example, to the United Arab Emirates. Do you? Uh, I teach to the USA, to England, to several places. And probably Portugal as well. And, and, and <laughs> the Netherlands. Do you? And Portugal, yes. Yeah, in yeah. the Algarve, people, people for example. People living elsewhere. In the yeah. Algarve, yeah. Philomena, thank you very much for coming here today. You're welcome. Much appreciated. Yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing you on Friday. Yes. Trips yeah. for Brits is the email address. If you want to be on uh, Philomena's uh, email list mm -hmm. and just drop her a line if you want translation, yes. if you want say language hello. courses, yeah. say hi. Uh, do go ahead and do that. I think we're going to be talking to Anne or, or Dave, isn't it? Anne or Dave, yes. um, one of you. Would you like to come and be on the internet for a minute? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>